All right, this is part two. I will look, look at the data sheet here. Uh, Keysight makes the uh, uh, 2795, 2796, and 2797, and this is the data sheet for those. So the difference is uh, the one that I have, the 95, is a one gigahertz probe. The 96 is a two gigahertz probe. 97 is a 1.5 gigahertz probe, star star. Typically two gigahertz when used with rigid probe tip ground plane and handheld anyway. So different things. Um, uh, they talk about system bandwidth, although the probe bandwidth may be a gigahertz if you plug it into a 600 megahertz scope, it's only going to give 600. Uh, otherwise, if you take a two gigahertz one, it'll only give you one gigahertz. If you like plug it into my scope, anyway, talk about that. Um, so plus or minus 20 volts, don't put anything more than that in it. Uh, you can offset voltages by 12 volts. Uh, point, point 0.4 dB flatness. Uh, up to 100 megahertz, up to 500 is 0.6, up to a gigahertz is 0.8, and then 1 to 2 gigahertz it's 1.3. So it gets gets lumpier as you go out. Um, yeah. So it says the uh, input resistance is 1 mega ohm, and the capacitance is 1 picofarad. All right, so 1 mega ohm. 0.9 picofarads. This one's marked as 0.9 picofarads. Um, all right, here they show you probing things with certain uh, certain adapters. These are all the adapters that come with it. Um, and so you can see that a lot of these I've just kind of recreated. All right, here's some graphs. Uh, so it'll it's uh, pretty flat out here to a gigahertz, and then it goes blah. Uh, here's some voltage deratings, maximum voltages. Like here's a 20 volt max derating, ma max voltage. Except if you come out to a gigahertz, it's running down here around five volts. So yeah, don't put a lot of voltage into these things. Be careful with them. Um, all right, you can find all the stuff on Keysight's web Key Sites website. Um, here's some uh, nice pictures. So if you use a rigid probe with a ground lead, you're getting the maximum bandwidth. Um, if you're using a copper pad to find a ground, you can derate them a bit, 900 megahertz. If you're using some wires, you, you can get maybe 750 out of it. If you're using little clip leads with it, you, you can go up to 500 megahertz. So, um, you know, all the different types of uh, accessories you can get with this thing. You just have to be aware that you know, you're know you not always going to get a gigahertz, but almost always you're going to get 500 megahertz out of this thing, which is which is great for me. And uh, yeah, it's just a just an introduction. Uh, most of the big scope manufacturers have things like this. Uh, Tektronix has a whole bunch, Roden Schwartz. Um, uh, I think even Rigol has one now. Um, some of them require external uh, external circuitry, I mean, you know, external power supply. I think Pico Industries, Pico, the Pico people, I think they, they have a uh, an FET probe. Um, like I said, you can... Uh, uh, get some DIY versions that people have put together that are just a fed on a board um, and uh, try to get you something. They're not as great as these, but at least we'll get you something, uh, some type of active probe. Um, anyway, there you go.